Two gays on a boat. Yeah. Two gays on a horse. Yeah. Two gays on a bike. Yeah. Two gays on a couch. Yay! Hi. Hi. <sighs> I don't even know how to introduce this video. What should we do? So this is a very special episode of Two Gays on a Couch. A lot of you are asking how we, uh, how our friendship was forged. <laughs> how did we come to be? Poor choice of words. How did we become? <laughs> I can't uh, say no, this without no, it's come. <laughs> Two gays and a couch. The becoming. That's good. Thanks. Where did it all begin, Joe? It was a sunny. No, I started. February. Working... No, I started. <laughs> yes, it's I started February. working in February, so yeah. it was not sunny. It was very cold. So I was working um, at an animation studio uh, as a staff writer. There was an office that had been vacated, so it was empty and it was right in front of the cock machine, and Sure day, enough. Sure enough, one day I noticed that they, like a, like a little squirrel, <laughs> burrowing in a vacated tree hole. Go on. There was now a, uh, a, a little, a little man in this office. That was me. Yeah, that was you, that was you, you're this little yes. man. And I would go to the cock machine and, and you would look at me. I don't, I don't recall this. I, I go, recall go being on. looked at, you know, the feeling of like, you're like somebody's watching you. And that's probably when I should have been suspicious um, that this man was a fellow traveler on the homosexual railroad. Toot <laughs> <laughs> toot. Toot <laughs> toot. I had seen you first walking through the big kitchen. You, you walked you walked with a, with a nice bounce in your step. I have a distinctive gait. And I thought to myself, who is this spry young man? Now, did you know when you saw my bounce walk, did you know that I was gay? I was 82% sure. Only 82? That's pretty confident. Yeah, that's actually, yeah, that's pretty, yeah, yeah. I was 0% sure that he was gay. You didn't know. I had no idea. Yeah. I did think you were cute when I saw you. Aw, that's so sweet. I thought you were cute too, I thought you were cute too. Thank you. Yeah. I know. When I first started, we were on separate projects. You were close with the rest of the story team because you were working with a lot of the other story artists. Yeah. And you had invited us all out to go see a play that you had written that was being performed off Broadway. Yes, it was called Porky Pig, and it was about um, a guy who wakes up after a drunken night wearing a shirt and shoes, but no pants, a la the wardrobe choices of the cartoon character Porky Pig. So um, what I'm trying to say is this play had, <laughs> had partial male nudity. Which I've come to learn is a staple. <laughs> yes. It's not a Joe working <laughs> play unless some guy takes his pants off. Some of his shirts. Okay. Yeah. And I was like, oh man, this guy's gonna hate this play because it's like <laughs> super gay and there's like men in their underwear. So, there's also a, there's also a talking dog. There was, it was very cartoony. Yeah. I love yeah, it. Yeah, I know. He's very, yeah, yeah. So we saw the play and I was like, I need to be friends with this man. We all got a drink afterwards. We were at like a beer hall, I think. Yeah, yeah. And I specifically positioned myself in like the line of us that were going to sit down so that I could sit next to you. Oh, that's so sweet. Because I knew, I, could, I knew you were gay. Yeah, and I had no idea you were, but then you started talking about how much you liked to play. I made a comic about this. You did make, you all right. One of those, the strip is loosely based on this event. Yeah. And we went on to discuss how I enjoyed watching the guy with no pants on. Yeah, and I was like, oh, uh, that's weird that the new straight guy at the office like seeing this play about this guy with no... Oh, 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 boom! And then I was like, oh, he's obviously totally 100% G-A-Y gay. <laughs> <laughs> I think after that night, our friendship just kind of took off. Oh, well, what ended up happening is then I also moved on to the project that you were working on. Oh, right, so we had chances that we actually were suddenly in meetings together. And we were in meetings together. On a more daily basis. One of us would instant message the other, just said gay sip which means come to that person's office. You were discussing your relationship, yeah. I was discussing dates I would have, we talked about who we thought was cute at the studio. I would tell you what to put in, what not to put on your own okay, keeper profile photo. That's right. I was still relatively new at the studio. I think I felt a closer relationship and bond with you than anybody else. Obviously we had that yeah. gay thing in common. You were so, also still relatively new to the gay world. This is very, very true. I had only come out, God, probably about six months before that. Yeah. Maybe less. So, and you said uh, that you had the strip you're working on uh, about your That's adventure right. being gay, and I was like, you should show me them sometime. I think you told me to put them online. I did, I was like, you should do something with this, because you had a Tumblr with your art, but you didn't have those up. God, that's so funny. I, I created a monster! <laughs> I made a monster! Howling <laughs> uh, at the ceiling is my new favorite thing to do today. But then, that would 
come to be Adventures in Gay. Yeah. I guess then eventually I just asked you to be in a video. Yeah. I, actually, this is a good story. Originally, I was going to have you be in the first Q&A. Oh, right. But you suggested my sister. Right, because you guys have such great chemistry. And I think yeah. you didn't want to do it. I was looking, I was looking at Marsha. <laughs> but then I convinced you to do a second Q&A. Right. That one went really well. It People fun. really liked yeah, it. Yeah. And we jokingly said we should do a talk show. And we'd call it Two Gays on a Couch. And we drink oolong tea. And then someone's like, you should do that. And so like, yeah, people said you should just do that. Okay, we'll do it. I'm like, okay, we'll do yeah. that. Um, so what? this is not just the origin story for our friendship, but the origin story of this entire thing that we're doing and that you're doing. The entirety of this channel and this brand that I've created. Is based on our friendship. It's based on my friendship with yeah, Jack That's so sweet. And that. That is our origin story. That is how we become it. Yeah. Become it, it's good. Become it. Yeah. Two gays on a couch. We became. We became together. Yeah. We hope you learned a thing or two. Yeah, about Hat and Joe. Leave us your comments. Let us know what you think. If there's any other questions you had that we may have skimmed over. Yeah. Almost. If you'd like more details about a particular part of the story. Let us know if you like my beard. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you want Joe working to grow a beard. I have started. I have a little stubble. That's not a beard. That's a stubble. It's the first step. Well, beard does not manifest overnight. Not when you're a bottom.